With Minecraft Earth going away in July 1st, there is some mobs inside the game that a lot of people will never see ever, ever again. And well, today we're going to be looking at a Minecraft add-on, which is brought to us by Brandon Italy, and this gives us pretty much every single mob from Minecraft Earth. Now, if you're wondering, there are more than 40 mobs that you can find, and this includes chickens, pigs, cows, and a bunch of other mobs. So if I look inside of here, this is every single mob. I wasn't kidding when I said that there were a lot of mobs. So we're going to go and take a look at every single one of these. But to begin with, we do have ourselves a few items and blocks that we can obtain. So we have ourselves a custom bed. We have some wool, a carpet. We have ourselves a custom feather. We have some buttercup and we have pink daisies. And then we have ourselves the horn. So if I go and show you these, um, these really don't do anything besides the flowers. The flowers, what they do is look really, really cool. But for the horn, no functionality. And the fancy feather, this does not do anything at all either. Besides looking super duper fancy. Now there's also going to be some rainbow carpet. And there's rainbow wool. Which rainbow wool is obtained by the rainbow sheep. And I'll show you that in a few moments. We have to cut ourselves the rainbow bed. Now the rainbow bed does not do anything. But with all that, that's it for every single item. Now I do want to point out for the blocks, you do have to go ahead and do a command in order to get all those. But for the items, if I look inside the nature section, scroll all the way down, here is all four of our items. But with that, let's go ahead and start taking a look at all the different mobs that we have inside the add-on. Now for all the different mobs, we have ourselves some cows, we have sheep, pigs, chickens, rabbits, and a few other cool mobs. So we're going to begin with the cows. And so the first cow that we have is the sunset cow, which looks really, really awesome. All these cows do look really cool in my own opinion. We have the dairy cow. Obviously, they have to add in the dairy cow. But then you gotta get them milk somehow. We got ourselves the umbra cow. Oh my goodness, this guy needs a haircut. Same thing for the woolly cow. At least one of his eyes is opened up. The other one, you can't really see anything. We got ourselves the cookie cow. I really hope this guy gives me cookies. Does he drop cookies whenever you kill him? Okay, cookie cow, please give me cookies. Oh, come on. Why are you calling the cookie cow if you don't give me any cookies? We have the ashen cow, which is the color of ash. We have the pinto cow, and the albino cow, which is basically just a white cow with some evil looking red eyes. And then for our final cow, we have the cream cow. So next up, we have ourselves all the different sheep. We have the rocky sheep, which I really like the look of this guy. Kind of looks like he has like cobblestone or some type of stone. Wait a minute, no, it's not any other stone. That is diorite. It looks like the color of diorite. Okay, I'm staying away from that guy. We have the patched sheep, which is basically like the sheep that we have inside the game already. But obviously it has a different coloration in the face, which is now black instead of peach. And then the feet are white instead of peach as well. So the next up is the flecked sheep. And this is what he looks like. We have the horn sheep. Now in my own opinion, I think that this should be already inside the game. So then we're sold the rainbow sheep, which as I mentioned earlier, this is the sheep that's going to give you that new wool. Now next up is going to be the inky sheep, which is basically sheep that's been covered with ink. Uh, I've been messing with the squids again, haven't you? I told you, Miss Sheep, not to be messing with the clothes squids. We have the long nose sheep. Oh my goodness, if Stampy had a pet sheep, that'd be the name of his sheep. The long nose sheep. And we can now move on to the pigs. For the pigs, we have the spotted pig, which has spots all the way around them. We have the pink footed sheep, the sooty pig. Our next pig is the piebald pig, which looks really cool. We have the muddy pig, which there's actually two variants. There's the dried up muddy pig. And then there's the muddy pig with the flower on its head and wet mud. The pale pig, which is basically like a regular pig, but except he's more of a paler pinkish color, I guess. And we have ourselves the mottled pig, mottled pig. I have no idea how to pronounce that, so I do apologize. But uh, anyway, that's it for all the different pigs. And let's move on to the next set of mobs. For the chickens, we have the stormy chicken, the amber chicken, the bronze chicken. Oh, I like to look at this guy. Oh, okay, I kind of wish that we had more chickens like this in Minecraft. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had ourselves more variants of animals? We have the Midnight Chicken, which is a black chicken. As dark as midnight. Oh, I love the look of this guy. We have the Fancy Chicken, which kind of reminds me of a cockatiel a little bit. Especially with the colorations in his tail. We have the next one, which is the Scooball Chicken. Oh, pretty cool. And for the rabbits, we have the Muddy Foot Rabbit, the Vested Rabbit. We have the Harlequin Rabbit, the Freckled Rabbit, the Bald Striped Rabbit. Oh, this guy looks really nice. Then we have the Jumbo Rabbit. Oh my goodness. You are a 
big boy. And now we're on to the special mobs. We have the tropical slime. Now this guy, he's one of my favorite ones. He has like fish going across him. Oh man, you gotta admit, this guy, he looks really, really awesome. And then we have the collection, which is a chicken with mushrooms on his head. So if I go and shear him, oh wait, can we not shear him? I cannot shear this guy. Okay, that's actually very unfortunate. But anyway, we are supposed to Moolip, which is a lovely mushroom, but the mushrooms, it has daisies around its back. So I can go and interact with them, and I can get myself some flowers as the outcome. The weird thing is, it doesn't actually work like a mushroom, to where he poofs back into a cow. Instead, he stays exactly the same. But then we are supposed to Moo Bloom. Now, if you missed the Minecon vote last year, well, obviously this guy, he did not win, which is very, very unfortunate. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give myself some buttercups just as a souvenir. Alright buddy, we will miss you until the end of days. But now we have solved the next mob, which is the Bone Spider. Okay, this spider reminds me of something that you see from Zelda. And Zelda, I think there is a Bone Spider that does look like this. But this guy, he looks really, really cool and also quite terrifying at the same time. So next up is going to be everybody's favorite mob, the Glow Squid. Okay, maybe it's not everyone's favorite mob. I mean, it's definitely not my choice of mob. And we're just going to move on to the next mob, which is going to be the Jolly Llama or the Reindeer, wherever you want to look at it. Our next mob is going to be the Melon Golem, which I'm not sure if he can actually shoot things or not. So let's see, does he actually shoot? He does not shoot anything. Okay, that's actually quite unfortunate. I really wish he would have shot something. But next up, it's going to be the Skeleton Wolf. And he does look like a certain YouTuber's pet dog. So we have also the next one, which is going to be the Furnace Golem. And this guy, he is pretty tough and also pretty strong as well. So next up, it's going to be the final mob. And it is the Viler Witch. Okay, now this. This looks like a really cool mob. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to see what he actually does. Okay, so he actually looks like he shoots like potions out at us and just causes a bunch of damage. So basically just a normal witch. That is it for everything that's part of this add-on. And if you do want to get this, there will be a link down below in the description. And I just wish that a lot of these mobs are actually part of the game. I mean, there is a lot of really cool mobs that this add-on that I think you'll definitely enjoy. But I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now... Hope you have a logical day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!